Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the part two to the renovating the show barn series. So last episode we made the washroom, which I was really, really pleased with. So today we're gonna move on to some other areas of the barn. Now I mentioned in the previous episode that I wanted to add an attack and feed room. So that's what I'm going to do today. But before we even do that, the first thing that I want to do is paint the rest of the inside of the barn. So as you can see here, I've painted the inside of the wash stall, but everywhere else is just the original wood color. So yeah, we're gonna jump straight in with that today. I'm gonna tape off the wall so that we get the nice straight line like we We've got here and yeah we can get started with the painting also my poor tape dispenser thingy has lost its other side and i've literally no idea where it's gone so yeah it's uh looking a little derpy but <laughs> hopefully it will work just as well so it has been absolutely ages. I have gone through so much paint. I really underestimated how much I was going to need. <laughs> There's a few kind of wonky sections in the paintwork that we're just going to ignore for now. I'll come back to that later. <laughs> I had a sudden realisation about halfway through painting that the wood shavings were going to be in the way of the wall. So yeah, I've had to push those into the middle. Also, you may be wondering where the little lolly stick parts of the dividers have gone. And well, here they are. <laughs> I had to pull them off when I was painting because I'm going to change these out at some point. And um, yeah, we can't have just giant lolly stick gaps in the paintwork. But it is okay, the place is looking pretty good because I really wanna get on with the tack room, which is supposed to be the focus of today's video. And honestly, it hasn't been getting a lot of love so far. So let me spin this around so we can actually see it. Okay, I've just knocked over so much stuff behind the barn and some bottles in the washroom have kind of taken a hit, but <laughs> never mind. Right, so in the tack room, the first thing that I'm gonna do is make big feed bins that are gonna be permanent in here. So I've been thinking for a while about what's going to work best to make these out of and I've come to the conclusion that something like this is going to be very helpful. <laughs> so it's this little metal tin that used to have tiny mints in from M&S. <laughs> It actually smells quite nice and minty. But I'm thinking that if I cut the bottom out of it somehow, I can just repurpose the box to be the top of the feed bin instead of having to make a hinge. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this is gonna work. I haven't tried it before. It's a bit of a risk, but if it works, I think it's gonna be really cool. So yes, we're going to attempt that. The only way I can think of getting rid of the bottom bit of the tin is banging a nail into it and then getting metal cutters in there and just cutting it out and maybe sanding down the sharp edges something along those lines, but I'm gonna have to go outside and do it because that's where we keep our tools. So yeah, fingers crossed, let's go and see if this works. So I've just cut the bottom off of the mint tin. Crikey, that was actually really hard. So yeah, if you're gonna try that, I'd recommend being really careful because obviously it's quite sharp and um, yeah, it's quite hard to cut. <laughs> but it's okay, we've got a hole in the bottom now. It isn't perfect inside, but literally this is the best I could do. I'm just amazed it still closes to be honest because there were quite a few moments when it got quite distorted the shape and uh, <laughs> it was questionable whether it was actually going to um, come back to its sort of original shape. Okay, 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 so now comes the actual fun part of building the food box, food trough, I've forgotten what they're called, feed bin, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be using lolly sticks to coat the outside of the lids and also make a box underneath them for the actual feed bin. So while my hot glue is warming up, I'm going to work out how high I'm going to want the bins. For the mint jarry one, I'm going to need it this high and the other one I'm just going to leave for now. So the first thing I need to do is cut lots of these lolly sticks to the length I need them. Oop. And now I've done that, I'm just going to glue them around the edge of the lid. All that curve is everything. <laughs> oh, cheese, hot on my fingers. Ah! Wait, go, 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 go. Everything is under control, it's fine. <laughs> Why is it on such an angle? <laughs> We're persevering, it's fine. Gotta fill in that giant crevice there. Oh, wait, hang on. There's gonna be a gap. Oh, oh for goodness sakes. And now I'm out of hot glue. This is ridiculous. Ah, it fell off. Curse this box. Here's uh, my hot glue cartridge box. I uh, painted it. <laughs> 
I highly recommend. In your pop poppet. Oh, here you are. The offending lolly stick. All right, that's as good as it's getting. I suppose I better do something about this giant wonk we've got going on. Oh my gosh, I just had such a scare then. I opened it up and there was this giant crack and I thought the hinge had broken. Like after all of that, the hinge didn't work, which was exactly why I used this box in the first place. But it's okay, we're fine guys. <laughs> oh yeah, why? It doesn't actually look that wonky on camera, but like if I put my hand on it, it's supposed to lie flat and this bit's kind of up in the air. So what we're going to try and do and fix that is lay a lolly stick along the bottom, kind of just sorting everything out, basically. I don't know how it's going to work around the sides, because obviously a lolly stick can't bend. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be um, interesting, but we're just going to go with that. I think it's going to help. Oh, I've cut it too far now. It doesn't reach all the way over. Would it kind of look cool if there were two of them? Or is that too much? I feel like it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> I just lost such a giant chunk of my nail polish because there was hot glue on it. Excellent, there we go. Now the final thing to do is to cover up the lid here because we obviously don't want it saying sugar-free spare mints on the top. Okay, now that this box is finished, I'm just gonna paint it the dark gray color that I've used for the inside of the barn and then I can just hot glue it in. Here is the feed bin all stuck in. It was a little touch and go there for a moment, but I managed to get it really stuck in by just dumping a load of hot glue inside it. It's not the neatest, but nobody will be able to see. <laughs> now to finish it off properly, I have grabbed this food from the kitchen. It's called quinoa, it's like couscous. So yeah, I'm gonna pour it into my little food box. You could use rice or couscous or anything else that looks similar, but I don't know, I just went for this because it looks really cute. It kind of reminds me of mini popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, let's pour this in. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. What the heck? Why is that so pretty? There is so much quinoa. <laughs> okay, I think I might need to have to clean up the floor just a tad because um, <laughs> there was kind of an explosion of this stuff everywhere. It looks a bit like an indoor play area with a ball pit, you know? <laughs> but um, it won't for long. I'm pretty sure it's quite easy to sweep away. So um, <laughs> that should be fine. There might be a few that are just forever stuck behind the box, but <laughs> that is fine. Oh, darn it. They're in the wash stall too. I'm going to have to take out the rubber mats. But apart from the quinoa explosion, I mean, I think this has been a success. Honestly, I'm absolutely chuffed with it. Now, I think what we need to do is move on to the next part of the tack slash feed room. That probably isn't a good place to leave my scissors. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be making some tack stands. And today I'm going to be making these out of lolly sticks. I usually make them out of bits of curtain pole, but uh, I don't know, I felt like a change. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this instead. It's really simple. I'm just gluing one stick to the other. Then I'm just going to attach a supporting bit underneath. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just make a couple more of these and throw on some paint. And baba bing, they are done. Now I believe I've got six in total here and two of them are going to go in the feed slash tack room, but the other four I'm going to put around the barn elsewhere. What? Oh, I just dropped it in the corner. <laughs> well, I mean, it's quite tight, but it's not the end of the world. So that is fine. Now, as for the other four, <laughs> I'm going to put two of them in that corridor and then two in the one here because I want to put other things in the tack room rather than just filling it with saddle racks. And yeah, I think it will look really cute in the little corridor here. It'll be perfect for it. Now to do the ones over here, I think it's going to be a bit more work because the wall I fixed last episode has decided to break on me again. So yeah, we're going to have to um, repair that for the third time now and it would actually help if I had it the right way up. <laughs> oh yeah, they're perfect. There are the saddles on those ones and the other two. It's a very snug little fit, so it's perfect. And to finish the little corridors off, I'm going to stick some bridle hooks above the saddle racks just so we can have the whole tack set in there. Alrighty, so the two corridor tack room things are done. I just think they're so cute. <laughs> anyway, coming back to the main big one over here. I think I want to paint the top half of the wall a different colour before I do anything else. So yes, snazzy transition time. <laughs> okay, so now the whole wall is painted. Now I can finally start on adding the details. Alright, let's do this.
Alrighty, so I have just finished making a shelving unit and the start to an L-shaped sofa. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with this, like, I don't know why, but it just looks so satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, this cabinet is gonna go in here next to the feed bin. Then we've got the start of the sofa that's gonna join in here, so it's like nice and snug. <laughs> what I'm gonna do next is just glue everything down so it doesn't move from this position. Right, so everything is glued in now and I have fixed the lid of the box so that it can be pulled up like that so there's storage inside of it which I'm really pleased with. Now I want to make the seat look a lot more plush. So I have got my box of materials and I'm not kidding the options are endless. <laughs> We could have some kind of fake leather on the seat to make it look smart, but I kind of want to go for something that's going to be more cosy because, I mean, we've got grey everywhere, which is quite cold. So I was thinking bright colours to kind of liven the place up. Maybe some wool? I don't know. Oh, I quite like this. It's green. Oh, pink and grey would look so nice, though. I think the print of the flowers might be a bit big. Maybe on a pillow that would look nice. I think this one's a bit bright. It's a bit too cherry. Oh, this is a interesting specimen. <laughs> We could have like a feather boa thing. Oh my gosh, I could have a pillow in this. That would look so cool. It's a bit extra, but I love it. <laughs> okay, so I've thought about it and I think the one I'm gonna go for for the base of the sofa is this. It's a really light candy floss pink with a nice white stripe through. So I think it's gonna be perfect because it definitely will go with the gray. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Let's get to making this very comfy seat. <laughs> oh, okay, it does actually have a sticker on the back. So if you're wondering what kind of fabric this is, here you go. <laughs> Right, now let's get to the fun part. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here, but we're just going to go with it. Apparently these scissors aren't very good at cutting fabric. I should probably use them to cut paper less. Oh, it's okay, they're kind of cutting now. I just need to stick something down at this point. <laughs> Whoop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so now that I've got it to this point, I'm going to just pop a little bit of stuffing inside the pocket there. So it's just a little wobbly. I don't know how else to put it. I think I've got way too much here. It's going to be like a trampoline. <laughs> Nobody's going to be able to sit on it. They're just going to bounce right off. Actually, that feels so squishy. Oh, man, I want to sit on that. <laughs> Okay, that looks awesome. It's a good thing that I left um, a little bit of extra fabric around the edges because I knew I was going to stuff it and it was going to puff up. So yes, definitely recommend doing that. Come on, glue stick, you can do it. Ah, it's not going to reach. No, we're okay, it does reach. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like the most amazing sofa ever. <laughs> what the heck? I think I've spent way too long on this. <laughs> now my hot glue's gone too cold. There's hardly anything coming out. This is a very unhelpful moment to fail. It's very unhelpful of it. Okay, I'm just try going to try and neaten up some of this mess we've got going down at the bottom here. Okay, and voila, we have the finished sofa seat. Okay, now is the moment of truth. If it doesn't fit back onto the sofa, I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna be very upset. I mean, the struggles of this are real. <laughs> Okie dokie, here goes. Oh, thank goodness it fits. <laughs> Panic over. <laughs> Is it just me or does it kind of look like an upside down sock? Oh, I'm so pleased with it. Right, okay, that is in. Now what? I was just so focused on getting to this point. It's so squishy. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to do was add something to the feed bin. So I've cleared out quite a lot of the quinoa from the inside of the box. So I've just got a random little pot of it now. <laughs> because I want to put a lolly stick down the middle of it so it can be split into two sections. So I've just whipped up a really quick partition to split the box in half. Gonna pop that straight in there. There we go. Okay, so I have just topped up the right hand side with green rain and in the left I think I'm gonna put some rice on top of this stuff so it looks like it's different food. Okay Koki there we go that is looking much better. All right my friends this is all I'm gonna be doing in today's video. I really hope you like all the new things that I've added this time. Make sure you're subscribed because next episode I'm adding even more things to the tack room. I mean honestly how many things can you fit in one room right? I hope you have a great day and yes I'll see you soon. Bye!